Hey everyone, this is Alexia, and in this video, I'm going to teach you how to wrap a flat present. Now, in my previous video, I wrapped a boxed present for you, and I showed you how easy it really is. Wrapping flat presents, however, is a bit more complicated. Just like before, you're going to need a wrapping paper, scissors, tape, ribbon, and a gift. And like the original step, you're taking your wrapping paper and you're laying it out. Take your gift. Place it on the paper and measure like so. The, these are the steps that you use to wrapping any present. And the materials never change apart from your gift. Even if you're wrapping an object gift, the present requirements will be about the, will be unchanged. And as always, cut any extra paper so you get just as much as you need. And then put it aside. Like I do with all my gifts, I'm putting it upside down on the paper. Like so. Take one end. And I'm going to tape it onto the paper. I'm going to tape the one end of the paper to the present. And just like I did with my last present, I'm folding it in, putting it on top. It might take a while to get the exact length of time. But don't give up. Be persistent. And there, you will get it. So just like all presents, you get the seam, which you're going to take, so it stays firmly in place. It usually takes one piece, but as I said, the longer the present, the more tape might be required to get it perfect. And also to try and keep it tight. Even if it's flat, you must keep it tight. Just like my other present, it might, it's going to take me more than one because I have a pretty big or pretty long present. Now the sides can be a little complicated at times, but if it's too long, it's easier to trim away any excess at times. As long as you don't cut off part of the present. I'm going to do the old method. No, I'm not. So you can do the old method of putting the sides in, but it complicates things a lot. I'm going to take the ends, fold them to make these two triangles here, and like I always do, make creases. Bring it up, and right now, I'm going to tape this up so it works much smoother. Bring it up, bring it down. Too much, it's too much paper. Fold it in first. Once fold it in, fold it in, fold it up like so. Then, then once you've done this. It's messed it up already. Fix it. Once you've got this bit, tell me, because it's flat, it might take a while to get it right. Once you do it, you persist to taping. Make you persistent and you go straight to taping it. And repeat on the other side, like you always do the gifts. How do I access? Flat presents are easier to remove most of the time. Be careful not to cut the presents before you get rid of too much. Okay, if you do get rid of too much, it's not a too big hassle as long as you can still fold it in. Not, you just try to push the present in a little. It's 
flat, but it doesn't really affect the gift well. Fixed it up, so then there's not much. Just do as big triangles as you possibly can. Fold in. Or if you have to have also with the seam, tape the seam to make it easier. Optional. Fold it in to make it look just that neater. And finally, up and over, like so. Then, tape it. This will take, this should take about uh, two pieces, sometimes more, depending on what it is or what's going to happen. Sometimes these can be a bit difficult to wrap, like in this case. There. Now your flat present is wrapped. Now, just like with all presents, you can add ribbon to it, even I'll check it. Today I'm using my green ribbon because my yellow one is almost running out and I don't want to waste the rest so soon. I'm going to use it for other presents, birthdays and events like that. And like any other presents, the way of measurement doesn't change at all. Take your ribbon, measure it twice lengthwise, turn it around, measure it twice lengthwise, and then you cut. I'm going to do my usual thing and I'm going to have some extra ribbon. Now, place it on the present, flip the present over, bring it to the center, do a crossover, like so, bring it back, Bring the ends back to the center again. Now use your finger to hold the present, the ribbon, I mean, firmly to the present to make it tight. Take one end, tuck it under, tuck it under again. You're holding it together. It might be trippy if you're doing it alone or if you're working with someone else. Get another person, do it, the other person do it for you, and you make it just that easier. Since I'm doing this by myself, I might don't have that much luck. Then tie a knot. Now, once again, as always, when it comes to women, you may tie a bow or curl. And I like to curl. So let's get my scissors, the blade of the scissors, put it in place. Hold it with the other finger, or hold the knot with your hand, and bring up. Sometimes it doesn't work. That's okay. That's what it works. I think I found out why, so let's try this a second time. Hold it firmly with your finger. Use the other hand with the scissors, hold the ribbon to the scissors, and bring it up. You do this a couple of times, and it'll curl beautifully. And do the same with the other ribbon. Get the ribbon ready, hold it, and curl it. it should take about one, two, something. If you're good enough, you can do it in one. Some people do it in two. I'm doing this in three slides to get my curls. And there it is. The flat present is officially wrapped and ready. <coughs> if you use the time, if you, if you use the time accordingly and just keep practicing, plenty of patience, and just do not give up. The more you try, the better you succeed, and eventually you can be able to wrap about anything. Thank you for watching. See you guys next time.